Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for game four on Vani Research Station. Player in the top spawn position, up two to one in this best of seven. Still two games to go for victory. It is the Blue Zerg player, Sue. And his opponent is spawning in the bottom position, right in the middle, as a matter of fact. Can he take it back? He's down two to one. It's classic. I'm starting to worry for Classic here in each game he has just done some stranger things. And it is definitely something that you could switch off by what builds he goes for. But he's definitely kind of playing with fire right here against Sue, who can punish him incredibly aggressively. Yet in the beginning of this game, you see Classic, Scout, three hatch before pool, and he himself has opened up with a one gate fast expand. So now it's in Classic's hands. How does he cope with this? How does he respond? Marsh. Well, he's still putting down that Nexus, so he's not deciding to just go all in on that. Three, uh, three hatch before pool, very, very, uh, you know, it's still possible to defend, but you're gonna have to bring your A-game, but Sue has been bringing his A-game, so I don't mind this at all on the side of a uh, classic yeah. to go with it, but yeah, he's gonna get into this just a little bit behind. Each of these games has primarily been Sue defending, and even though game one didn't go quite as well for him in the early stages, we've seen Sue flourish on the defense with his back up to a wall where he just is able to eke out a slight living to reposition, and so a lot of it has come down to those plays. Like last game, we'll see Classic open up with a Stargate. Most likely we will see another Adept Oracle push, or at least an Adept or Oracle pressure. It's very uh, synergy, synergizing units, but... With three hatch before pool, you will see a little bit heavier queen count, and I feel like that's going to be ample defense. Same time, we have Classic pulling back with his probe because of the opportunity to take the Zelnaga with that, which is going to be great to get a little bit more vision onto the map. But Classic simply opens up with one early adept. This is all standard play from Classic. A very standard reactionary build opener from him, especially with that early scout to see what's up. He will force workers to move around. He's going to be doing some damage, yet overall, it's not going to do a lot. Actually, it may do a lot. I take that back. Three workers is going to be a huge amount. Four. It's going to be fantastic. This is the issue, as Marsh was saying, with the three hatch before pool. Yes, you have the queen, but you need the lanes to make it so the adept can't keep running around to shut it down. Second adept will get in here, and this time it should go down, but four workers is nothing to be ashamed about. This is going pretty well for Classic. Getting another one right there, and yep. There you go. Using that shade to sh shade a very, very tiny amount there. I'm, I'm impressed. I am quite impressed. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm impressed with Classic's micro or not impressed with Sue's defense. Yeah, as he moves on to that third base and gets the first thing. Uh, but we have another thing moving in right there, and it is that Oracle. And that Oracle is going to go on a tear. Fantastic. The Adepts pull the Queens into the main base, and the Oracle will go uncontested in the natural. Heads up into the main. 14 worker kills. This is going so wrong for Sue. He's going to keep trying to defend with this Oracle. has been microed perfectly. It's going to get out of there. We have seen 18 workers go down, and you could be on three hatch before pool, but losing that many workers on a map like Vani Research Station, where you can defend your main and your natural with just one or two Adepts. Classic is in a phenomenal position, Marsh. Yes, very much. Now, one of the things we did see earlier was Classic has a little bit of an issue of closing out games. So can he actually close this out? He's got 40 workers to 32. He had 40 to 21 just a moment ago. Uh, is he going to be able to ramp up that uh, aggression? He's pulling in, he just put in more work gates. So he can start warping in some more units right there, but instead going to go take a third, maybe hoping to draw this out into that uh, that longer game. Which, to be honest, I mean, he had a little bit of an issue closing it out, but he did eventually yeah. close it. Out. That, that is the primary issue we've seen with Classic. He has an issue playing in that mid to late game. That's primarily been because he stayed on tier one tech. 
but we have seen him when he gets on to tier 2 tech, when he gets disruptors and colossus, he can do a lot more, but he may not even need to go to the late game right here. 27 workers being killed in total, and double oracle is going to easily be able to deal with these lings, especially with the adepts pushing across the map, and right now, Sue just had 8 drones being made, he's just on a huge wave of drones, yes, there's going to be lings in the surround, the oracles need to help, these adepts though, lings actually may be able to kill this relatively quickly, queens are here too, the oracles are kind of disjointed with this overall attack, and Classic will lose a large attack, but has killed 28 workers, and as long as his third base stays safe, he should be alright. He's only got one pylon at it, I'm a little bit afraid his third base may go under fire if we see another round of lings, but instead Sue's going to try to keep making drones. This is such an awkward game to what we normally see. Well, this uh, overcharge should be enough to hold off this... Uh, yeah, he's gonna be ready for that. It's it's if it's if instead of making eight more drones, he went for eight more lings, then he could pressure it. But he's not. Now we can't get into that main base with those. Not going to did the oracles pick up more kills, by the way. It looks like the oracles did, and they eventually went down. We do still have one alive in the top left-hand corner of the map. Oh, and there's still no four crawler in that third base. It was interesting because with all these early adepts you, uh, morphing into uh, spore crawlers, it's a shame he didn't let any of them finish. It could have saved him a lot of pr problems later on. Yeah. I'm... Uh, I, I'm impressed. As I said earlier on, I'm not sure if I'm more impressed with Classic's micro because it was just simple micro in the beginning. You even saw with his adept push, he wasn't quite paying attention since you do have a little bit less vision on the adepts to be able to cancel them committed to the engagement uh, at Sue's third base. But I think really right now, just worrying about Sue's early game micro, but Sue's going to try to even it up, try to get some damage done with this drop. But after losing 35 workers, that hits you such ex so exponentially that that is another entire wave of units and we will see whether or not he can even it up. It's looking pretty grim if yeah. he can. His links instantly go to Classic's natural base, but the Oracle by itself should be able to clean this up while taking relatively little damage. While Classic pushes across the map with Heavy Stalker, Heavy Sentry, and this time Sue's Hydralisk Den is very late. Yeah, and I was just looking to uh, get those enforcement, uh, reinforcement with that uh, Dropper Lord. Having been taken out, there is no reason to uh, you know keep working it at home. Can dedicate all of his warpings right here and with these five is that five that's six because counting is hard or uh sentries he can do uh, you know absolutely control the battlefield oh very too very early things you right there you can control the battlefield, that's going to be really key, but after a certain period of time we're going to have Hydralisks that are going to reinforce and we've seen Classic just kind of bend over to Sue's Hydralisks. We'll see drones being pulled, third base is sniped, and there's just not that much here right now for Sue. He's going to desperately try to defend, but Classic is overwhelming numbers after killing a total of 50 workers in this game. GG, Classic evens it up at 2-2. Two